The Quality Payment Program, which began in 2017, is about improving the quality of patient care and outcomes and driving fundamental movement toward value in our healthcare system. The Quality Payment Program offers two ways to participate, either through the Merit-Based Incentive Payment System, or MIPS, or via Advanced Alternative Payment Models, or APMs. This video focuses on MIPS. Under MIPS, clinicians are scored based on their performance in four areas, quality, cost, improvement activities, and promoting interoperability. We've heard from clinicians that the reporting requirements for traditional MIPS are confusing, and there is too much choice and complexity when it comes to selecting and reporting measures and activities. In response, we're working to transform MIPS so that participation is more cohesive and aligned and more meaningful to every clinician. Beginning with the 2023 performance period, CMS has established a new framework for participating in MIPS called MIPS Value Pathways, or MVPs. This framework moves away from siloed activities and measures and toward a set of measures and activities that are clinically related to one another, relevant to a clinician's scope of practice and meaningful to patient care. Here's how participation works. Clinicians participate in an MVP that's relevant to their specialty practice or a condition. Clinicians select from a smaller, meaningful set of quality measures and improvement activities. Nearly all clinicians report on a set of foundational measures that include the same promoting interoperability measures and clinician-selected population health measures. CMS calculates their performance on the cost measures included in the MVP, working with the healthcare community, including clinicians, specialty societies, patients, and others, to establish MVPs. We will continue working to fully transform MIPS to MVPs over the next several years. In the future state of MIPS through MVPs, clinicians will continue to report on a foundational set of measures, which may include health equity-related measures. This helps to ensure patients remain at the center of the work we do. This new way of participating in MIPS through MVPs aligns quality and cost and simplifies the program in ways that help clinicians prioritize high-quality patient care and furthers our goals of advancing health equity. We look forward to partnering with the healthcare community to create this future state of MIPS to ensure meaningful participation and improved patient outcomes. Learn more about MVPs and how you can submit candidates for consideration by visiting the QPP website at qpp.cms.gov.